Today we're going to be talking about recurring meetings. So inside of Microsoft Teams, you can create meetings, but notice how any meeting we create here in Teams, it has a specific start time and an end time. So as an example, if we create sample meeting and we give it some detail and we click, you know, schedule a meeting. We'll end up with a specific meeting and a specific time um, in, in, for our specific channel. But how do we create recurring meetings for Microsoft Teams? You can see we've created the, our meeting and now anyone can join it. So understanding that Microsoft Teams actually creates a, a group, an Office 365 group on the back end, well, all we have to do is go into that group and we can then leverage the group that we create from Office 365 group. So let's go ahead and log in to our Office 365 portal. And I'll just log in real quick. And uh, we'll be taken to the uh, Office 365 home. And the SharePoint home makes things easier for us. So we can see all of our groups that we've created associated with our Microsoft team. When we log into our team, we'll be taken to the home page of the Microsoft team. And Microsoft's done a lot of work on the, the look and feel of the, of the team with the new, you can even note that this is indeed a group because we can see that it's a private group. Uh, we've got our news and so on. How we get into our calendar for our team is all we got to do is just click this group conversations, which will take us into the Outlook side of it. So essentially when you get a team, you get a group calendar as well. So that group calendar is where we're going to create our recurring meeting. And from here, now from the Outlook Web, Apps, Outlook Web Access side of things, you can see here's that meeting we created on the other side, that sample meeting we had created. And if we click Calendar, we're now inside of our group calendar. And all we're going to do is... Uh, open up this calendar and we can just create a new calendar event so this is sample recurring and we can put in our detail. You'll notice as well we can choose should it be an online meeting. I've got Skype and GoToMeeting all integrated here. If we choose the online meeting it'll, it'll, it'll know what to do with that. Um, even here from, from a perspective of creating Skype right from here we can create that. And now if we want to say repeat we just simply choose the frequency. So if we want this to happen, like say it's our team meeting that happens um, every first Friday of every month or every Friday as an example, because this sample recurring meeting, we want it to happen every day. And then we can add the uh, people that we want to be part of this. Something you should be aware of is if, if it's a full team meeting, you can actually add your whole team as well. So we're, we're notice we're also seeing groups here. So we can add the entire SharePoint team. Click Save. 
and we don't want it to be too early. Let's go ahead and move this out a little bit. And it looks like we got everything there. We can choose the kind of reminder we want. You know, typical one's 15 minutes. All right. This charm is kind of interesting where you can have it, uh, when it shows up, have something on it. Um, just to kind of have it be able to stand out just a little bit. So now we've set that up. Now what's interesting here is if you first immediately go to Teams, you're not going to see it. It does take a little while to replicate and be picked up by Microsoft Teams. The other thing we're seeing here is we can see an overlay of all of the Teams that I'm in showing up in this group calendar. So as an example, I'm a member of ECM Team and SharePoint Team and I can add additional calendars to view in this in this view. Um, and if we look in this kind of quick daily view here on the side, here we can see we have the sample reoccurring meeting set up for 9 a.m. We've even got our little charm that we added that helps it stand out just a little bit more. Now if we go back to Microsoft Teams, in just a minute, we will see it show up, and there it is. Now we actually have a recurring meeting inside of Microsoft Teams, and when the time reaches, we'll also see that it's going to highlight and uh, provide us the Join button. So that was how to create a recurring meeting inside of Microsoft Teams.